Welcome back to the channel. Today's day 143 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with our daily checklist and a list of the items we're gonna need until the end of this challenge. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. All right, let's take our first break. Quite a few push-ups there. I'm pushing myself a little bit. In my opinion, it's a good way to warm up for a chest day push-ups now you don't necessarily need to go all out on the first set of push-ups all the way out to failure uh, my actual suggestion will be if you're gonna do the push-ups uh, first you need to find out how many what is the top the top amount of push-ups you can do in one shot and then take that number and cut it in half <laughs> so for me it should have been around 22 push-ups 20 22 push-ups somewhere around there as the first set of push-ups for a warm-up now you're probably wondering you're giving me an advice but you're not following your own advice well I do follow my own advice I just wanted to find out right now what is my limit now and there's no better way to know how many push-ups you can do than doing push-ups when you are not tired which is what I just did there so I push it to the end to the edge see what's the most push-ups I can do and now I know for next week when I have to do chest again I'll start the push-ups with 20 20 22 somewhere around there just as a first warm-up then the second set of push-ups uh, the second set of push-ups then I'll go to failure and most likely I will not be able to do 45 push-ups or anything like that uh, I'll probably barely pass 20 on the second set that will be to failure and that will that will conclude the warm-up set and then we'll go to the weights all right just a couple more seconds here All right, second set of push-ups. Here we go.
<sighs> All right, another break. And as the time goes on, let me bring the bench. I need to bring it a little bit closer this way. Let's see. That should be all right there. Just a tad this way, and I'm gonna bring you guys closer. That's a good view there. Well, I'm gonna just lower it just a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, that should be more than ideal. I already have my dumbbells put together in here. Oh, it's not too much of a rush when I came in today. So, I got a few things accomplished <laughs> before I started recording the video. And I hope I don't unplug the camera. All right. That's pretty good there. And you're probably wondering if it's cold or not. It is cold today here in PA. I just had the heater on for three hours before I came in here. And I just took a sweatshirt off. And the pants I'm wearing are pretty warm too. So that helps. All right, so uh, I have my uh, dumbbells loaded with 20 pounds. Therefore, we're gonna start with the dumbbell flies. Today's exercise. Uh, after the flies, we're gonna go, we're going to go flat, push it as far as we can, and then we'll finish it with the incline dumbbell press. And that will be it for today. All right, time is up and here we go. All right, let's take a break. Definitely felt that set. Uh -huh. 
that that's to show that you don't need crazy amount of weights to feel the exercise and to get results well you still haven't seen the results <laughs> still a few more days until uh, the update on my physique uh, so in the meantime all you can see is what you can see while I'm wearing a shirt <laughs> Wow, definitely felt every single rep there, every single one of them. So we have three more sets of the dumbbell flies, then we'll add 20 more pounds to the dumbbells and we'll do the dumbbell press. I know I was seriously considering uh, doing my dumbbell press with more weight but I don't think it's gonna be possible uh, I was thinking about loading the dumbbells with this ones this is 25 pounders but it's kind of a little bit awkward. I don't know if I should do it or not. I'm thinking, I'm still thinking about it. I've been thinking about it for like a whole week. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, but I don't know if I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be doing it or not. Might and might not. I don't know. I might do the first set and see how it goes, but at the same time, I don't need to prove anything. <laughs> I just need a good workout. That's all I need. And I think with the 40s, we'll do just fine. All right, time is almost up. All right, here we go again. Let's take a break. <sighs> that was another good set. Two more sets to go of these dumbbell flies, and then we'll go to the press. <sighs> it is funny how I start off all strong with <sighs> with the set. And then all of a sudden, energy starts, like strength starts creeping out. And then all of a sudden it's gone. <laughs> uh. oh, let's see. Let's see how 
the rest of the day goes on these exercises. <clears throat> Shouldn't be too bad. And it is, right now it is 8.58 a.m. Yes, it's a, an a.m. workout for me today. I know this video is posted at midnight. <laughs> uh, however, when I record, when I'm now that I'm recording this video, it's almost 9 a.m. Yeah, I intentionally woke up early <laughs> to do this exercise. I have a long day. A lot of activities, fun activities today. Whew. All right. Let's see. Man, these gloves are taking a beating. They are not as cushy and as a little bit, what's the word I'm looking for? Like rigid as they were couple of months ago <laughs> they are like now kind of getting worn up still pretty good shape but just a little more flexible than they were a couple months ago will I buy another pair of this uh, probably might get the black ones next time And also we'll probably get the extra large. Because these ones are large. I have small hands. These ones are large and they like they fit. They like just fit. If I would have gotten a bit a size bigger, they would have fit a little bit better too. My opinion anyway. Alright, time is up. Here we go with the third set of this. Dumbbell flies. And here we go. Feeling the exercise. I can see how with every rep I can see my chest just pumping out. Just popping out of my chest. Well, my chest is kind of sticking out of my shirt. This exercise definitely, definitely works. I'm glad I included in my routine. And I'm also glad I got rid of the decline bench press. I don't think I need it. Uh, we'll assess the situation towards the end of the journey. I will say around day 100, no, day 100, we're already past day 100. Around day 200 or so. Uh, and then we'll see if there is a neglectable amount of muscle missing in the pec area, lower pec. If there is, then we'll go back to the decline dumbbell press. 
If not, we'll just continue as it is. Also, the shoulders. Uh, I'm gonna continue doing the shoulder exercises as it is, including the front raises. No lateral are very important. Front raises, uh, not so much. However, I do not think my front delts are anywhere near develop as they should be. <laughs> so I'll continue doing the exercise as, as it's laid out. And everything else should stay the same. Um, on day 151, we're going to see, at least visually see, uh, where my body fat is at that point and where my muscle mass may be at that point as well because um, I feel like I'm I am definitely losing body fat but I don't think I'm increasing that much muscle mass so I don't know if this failure approach is working out or not but it will be after well, I'll take my measurements for body fat percentage and my weight. And then after a couple weeks, uh, a couple weeks, a few days of training, I'll say about 30 days or so. I'll see if I'm increasing any body fat or muscle mass where the balance is. No, I did not have much muscle mass when I started working out, but <laughs> you know, these days oh, we all want the muscles now, not in 10 years. <laughs> uh, I don't have much patience, but I guess I have to grow it. Anyway, time is up. Here we go with the fourth set of this dumbbell flies. Second on the break. All right, before I continue talking about the results and how fast we want them, I need to say something about uh, dumbbell flies. Very hard to go to failure on the dumbbell flies, uh, or I should say, it's very dangerous to go to failure with the dumbbell flies. It's easier to snap your shoulders <laughs> with this exercise. So, that being said, uh, I go as far as I safely can, or as far as I possibly can, on a safe way. Uh, when I see myself just doing the reps, but I'm not feeling the exercise, I know my form is not being the best at that point. So, I try to re readjust and get back into the position. And if it's not working out, I'm just losing strength. I don't want to do the rep for doing the rep. I want to do the rep and feel it. So, that's it for the dumbbell flies. We're gonna go to the dumbbell press next. And then, as I'm loading this 
plate. As I was mentioning before, start flying. Uh, after day 150, I will have a better idea of what I am gaining, if I am gaining anything. Because it will be at that point when we will it will be at that point when we will have a good idea of how much body fat we have on and if the scale goes up we'll have a better idea of what we are gaining <laughs> Scale goes up, body fat percentage still at the same level roughly, means we're gaining muscle. Scale goes up, body fat percentage goes up, we gain some fat. <laughs> uh, scale stays the same. Body fat percentage is lower. We lost some fat. <laughs> Maybe gain a little bit of muscle. All right, I don't want to be a body fat percentage freak, but it's a way to know what's actually working for you and whatnot. And then once we find the sweet spot, We'll go full throttle on that. Anyway, time is up and we're gonna go with the flat dumbbell press. Here we go. Oh, forgot. This is a lot more weight than what my left arm can handle. Take a break. Whew. Uh, definitely felt that one for sure. <sighs> As I was doing that particular set there, <sighs> need to keep in mind to not go too far beyond parallel there uh, I don't want to hurt my shoulder and I don't want to turn <laughs> my pecs even though I'm I'm lifting pretty pretty light uh, there's always the chance there's always the risk <sighs> I don't want to go there but so far I'm doing pretty good form is decent uh, the weight is decent I could probably put some more weight as I was mentioning earlier uh, Will I do it? I'm still considering it like right now, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> uh, but as it is, I'm feeling the exercise. I do feel the exercise. And uh, 
Man, I wish I had some more fives. Some more fives, some more tens. That will make a big difference. All right, I guess Craigslist, here I go. <laughs> Oh, or Facebook Marketplace. I don't know, but people want a lot of a lot of money for their weights. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, and they're opening a new uh, gym in town. It's a Planet Fitness, 24 hours. And I wish they had this Planet Fitness in here 10, 13 years ago. Wouldn't be so out of shape now, I'm pretty sure. I remember I got a membership for a Planet Fitness, but it was in Harrisburg. So I live in Hershey. <laughs> so I live in Hershey, and I've been always working in Hershey. Well, for most of my Hershey life, I've worked in Hershey. So I had to go to work, and then go to Harrisburg to work out, and then back home to Hershey. It was definitely not something that I wanted to do. I always wondered, man, why, if, why there isn't a, a Planet Fitness in Hershey? It would just be like right local and I could go at any time. But nope. So, got out of the shape wagon. <laughs> Till now, trying to get back into shape. All right, time is up. Um, here we go again. This is the second set. Wow. Ran out of gas on that one. <laughs> well, we have two more sets of the flat dumbbell press. The goal is to make them to 10, both of them at least 10 reps. Then, We'll go incline. On the incline, I'll probably have to take weight off at that point. Just like last week. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to take weight off. Just because it is getting heavy. Feeling the workout today, I'm feeling it. <sighs> All right, and then tomorrow is gonna be, um, what is it tomorrow? I think tomorrow is tricep day. It'll be tricep day and I should be, <sighs> let me see. Where's my little spreadsheet? Up oh, right here it is. All right. Let's see. Triceps, kicking back with 20. Uh, all right, starting on the push downs with 45. And we are not doing the extensions. So it's gonna be four sets of dips four sets of 
the push downs and then four sets of the kickbacks and that should be the entire day of tomorrow easy right just a matter of coming over here and do the work simple as that all right just a few more seconds to go on this break and then we'll get back to do some more dumbbell press I feel like my triceps are I mean, they're not really <laughs> growing, getting any bigger, but hey, as I said, I can't expect too much. Gotta grow some patience along with my muscles. <laughs> uh, anyway, time is up, I think. And here we go. Take a break. <sighs> Couldn't make it to 10. <sighs> but I gave it every single bit of energy and strength I had. That counts. <laughs> I could have probably made it to 10 if the first few reps I did, I would have went a little bit faster. But the goal is not the number, it's the effect of the exercise. All right, so we have one more set of this flat bench, dumbbell press, and then we'll incline it just a little bit. Just a little bit, we'll incline it and finish the exercise with the last four sets. And I'll definitely have to take, <laughs> I will definitely have to take weight off of this dumbbells to be able to do the incline. All right, time is ticking. Taking our last break here. I always forget, like every time I forget that <clears throat> one thing is what you think you're gonna do. <laughs> and another thing is what you actually can do. Cause I thought I was gonna come in here, do, 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 do my push-ups and bench press and all that stuff easy peasy lemon squeezy but it's it takes a little bit of work to get anything done in here <laughs> it takes some work and effort that's why a lot of people go into steroids first cycle thinking oh i'll just take steroids and show up to the gym and live leave and that's it i'll be jacked no, <laughs> it's a lot of work. 
before the gym, at the gym, and after the gym. <laughs> Steroids just will just push a little bit over the edge, just a little bit, a little bit of push that you will need. So it's easier, or not easier, it's definitely better to stay natural. <clears throat> For a whole long list of reasons, it is definitely better to stay natural. <sighs> All right, time is up. <sighs> All right, here we go. Definitely felt it. <laughs> ah. All right, let's take some weight off these dumbbells. I don't know why I haven't called them smart bells in a while. But you know who they are. Smart bells load it or unload it with 30 pounds on and then we're gonna go incline which by the way let me just do the bench that way I don't have to be spinning around oh and I just remember now too as soon as I got up Remember yesterday I was talking about not feeling my legs exercise. Well, apparently I did something right with the ham curls yesterday because I still feel my hamstrings today. Oh, oh I guess it has to be because it's less than 24 hours since last time I worked out. Yeah, I do feel my legs from yesterday's exercise. And the only thing I don't feel is my quads that much. I don't know why. However, that's not a problem. <laughs> All right, almost time, almost time. I know I'm gonna go over the seconds, but. It's not a race. It's not a race. Not a race. All right, here we go.
Definitely felt that one. For some reason, I kind of lost connection with his arm. It was doing its own thing. <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> keep the weight of this arm stable. Uh, so it is kind of funny that how one side seems to be stronger than the other. I guess it happens to most of us. Let's see where we are. We still have like 10 more minutes to go. Three more sets. Might have to reset the camera at some point. We shall see. All right. <clears throat> Almost at the end of the exercise of today. say but I'm kind of winded a little bit <laughs> not winded per se but trying to recover the strength and I just took 10 pounds off of each smart bell here they still feel heavy I'm definitely worked definitely worked out today I definitely worked out today Well, it's part of it. It's part of the game. Anyway, our time is almost up. Barely under a minute to go. I might have to start shopping again for some more clothes. <laughs> uh, stuff that fits better. This shirt was actually my fiance got me this shirt. Um, last year when I started this journey it's, it felt it fits pretty freaking good better than my other red shirt it's like a blanket <laughs> the only thing is that this shirt kind of perform better in the summer time than in the winter uh, but I'll make him work all right Even there, I can see it. But anyway, time is up. Here we go. it up and let's just reset this thing before I forget here we go 
We have two more sets of this incline bench press or incline dumbbell press. And we're gonna call it a day. <sighs> Definitely. Definitely a good day. Can't wait. Well, I can't wait. I've been waiting a long time <laughs> for this, but can't wait until day 151 to see my progress. Actually, to compare my progress. I'm definitely lighter, but I need to see if I need to still adjust my diet per se. Add more calories, keep it the same. Definitely not taking any more calories off of my diet. I, <laughs> I rather add cardio to, to my days than take any more calories. <laughs> Too many fun days have coming up now. As, well, Valentine's Day just went by. <laughs> We still have Mother's Day, uh, we have uh, Easter, all kinds of stuff happening, and I love food. <laughs> so, not taking anything else off my plate. Not saying that my calorie deficit is too crazy, but it's, uh, it's up there, it's up there. I might have to add some more calories. Uh, but it will depend on how day 151 goes. We'll see where we are standing. Uh, I'll take my measurements for my body fat percentage. I am guessing I'm somewhere around 16% body fat around now, but I'm not sure. I don't know which which um, uh, formula I'm gonna be using to measure my body fat percentage. I'm not sure, but I guess we'll find out. All right, time is up. What is this, the third set? Third set. Here we go. Last break of the day. Definitely feel it. You just gotta be careful with the last set. Don't want to push it too hard to hurt my shoulders. And yes, shoulders is my biggest concern on all the exercises. Because <sighs> it is tough to have shoulder pain all the time. I don't want to go through it again. <laughs> uh, it's like riding a motorcycle. 
you ride a more your motorcycle just fine until you crash really bad like a real bad crash you landed on the guardrail your motorcycle is all mangled up you still love motorcycle rides you go for motorcycle rides from time to time but you take extra precautions this time <laughs> next time you don't go too fast around the curves when it's raining <laughs> or when the roads are wet or they're idiots mowing their lawn and throwing their clippings into the street you are more careful then it has to be after right <laughs> No matter how many times other people told you, hey, be careful when you ride your motorcycle. Yeah, same thing with, sh with shoulder injuries. You've been told be careful about your workouts and your sports and your shoulders, watch for this. And you're like, oh yeah, 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 I know. And then you get hurt. And the last thing you want to hear is, I told you so. But yeah, that's how it goes. But here we go, last set, and that will do it for today. Yeah, buddy. Uh, just take one more sip of water. All right, just a few more seconds. And we're gonna go for it again. Last set. All right, here we go. Well, that's definitely it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.